Oh, that's a plot twist. That definitely makes it harder. Whoa. Where'd it go? So today we're gonna check out somebody who is arguably the best known magician ever, David Copperfield. Maybe Houdini is better known. I don't know, maybe they're on a level. If you're new around here, I'm Diane. I'm from Ireland, sometimes I'm in Ireland, sometimes I'm in Spain, and here I cover videos that you ask me to cover in the comments, so suggest things away. Use of suggestions not guaranteed. I have definitely heard of David Copperfield, but I don't think I've ever seen him perform. I do think he falls on the side of being an illusionist rather than a magician, so I think I'm gonna like his stuff. Obviously, this is going to be an older act, so I think, I think, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, if you're a magician or an illusionist, I think it's harder today to do these tricks and acts because of social media, video, slowing things down, speeding things up. People are a lot less easily fooled, so I'm curious to see how he does this. Apparently, he makes the Statue of Liberty disappear. I don't know if he does this live or if it's on TV and people could edit it. I don't know. Maybe you know more about this act than me, so let me know below. While you're down there, feel free to leave a comment for the old algorithm, thumbs up the video, and subscribe to the channel because I'm this close, this close to 200,000 after a really long time. It would be so nice to hit that benchmark. Subscribing is free, and who knows, some karma might happen to you if you don't. I don't know, I'm not saying it will, just it might. Okay. Vanishing the Statue of Liberty. Let's go. There she is, the beautiful woman herself. The Statue of Liberty, standing 305 feet high and weighing 450,000 pounds. Oh my gosh. And I was going to make her disappear. Oh my god, he sounds so young. I always think of David Copperfield, David. Ouch, David. Ouch, David. I always think of David Copperfield as an older gentleman, but I guess this was, what year was this? It was the 80s. Okay, this was the 80s. So he was, he was like, he was pretty young. He was like in his, in his, I don't know. This was 38 years ago. And David Copperfield is how old now? He's 65, he's still pretty young. He must've been super young when they made this. Two scaffolding towers on Liberty Island in front of the statue and had a helicopter to give an aerial view of the illusion. Oh, that's a plot twist. That definitely makes it harder. The audience on Liberty Island was seated here, 200 feet in front of the statue. Okay. A circle of lights surrounds the statue and shines upon it. Is it a trick of light? Is it a curtain mirrors? will be raised between the towers to hide the statue from view. Okay. If I successfully vanish the statue, searchlights would pass through the empty space that so that's gotta be just moments before. mirrors. I don't know. I don't know how people do these things. It's interesting though. We even had radar to show the statue's position. Whoa. He and really went the extra mile. On Liberty Island, the disappearance of the Statue of Liberty. I love the music. It's so epic. Wow, okay. That's super There's that jacket again. Jacket? Is that a known jacket? Right about now, I'm thinking, I hope this works. Well, yeah, that's a lot of pressure. He's thinking it away. Thinking it away. I mean, could this trick only be done at night? Or, or was it just for dramatic effect with the lights? It's gotta be lights, right? Magnets. Magnets! I don't know. Ah. And the radar can't pick it up either? That's wild. It's just enchanted the entire thing. It just disappeared. What happened? Is it visible from other angles? No, idea where it was. Was no, that's hey, what the hell is happening. If I was home watching on TV, I would be a little skeptical, but I was I'm here skeptical. and it was there, and now it's not there. I don't know what happened. 
Hernandez. When that curtain went down and there was nothing there, I just couldn't believe it. Your reaction? I was amazed. I don't see it. It was there and it's not there anymore. I have never seen a Statue of Liberty, Liberty disappear the way this one did. The way this one did. No, the other ones, yes. <laughs> okay, you gotta make it come back, right? That's magic. I brought her back. If you make it disappear, you have to make it come back. That's a magic rule. There she is, the big lady herself. I bet people say that when I come into her. Oh my god! Okay, well, I mean, the statue in itself is a wonderful thing, right? I mean, that's epic. That's so cool, right? We're all kind of going, how did he do it? It's got to be mirrors, lights, stuff like that. But nonetheless, he made it happen and it's an illusion and it's freaking cool to this day. It stands as one of the coolest tricks ever. I want to see real magic. I, I saw real magic recently. I couldn't believe my eyes. I'd like to see like a huge magic show in America or something sometime because yeah. Shout out today to a couple of very special people. The first person is Kimber and she has a very unique message. Kimber wants to shout out particles, subatomic particles, including glue balls, which are a group of glue lons, glue ons. <laughs> the thing holding the universe together. She says, okay, it's really for the field of particle physics. Just too cool. I actually do think that's very cool, Kimber. The second shout out today goes to the wonderful Heather Gwill. This photo shows Heather 14 months out from her stroke. She says she had a friend take several pictures of her and evidently her eyes were closed in every single one. All I see here, Heather, is a very strong human being who we're very, very proud of. Also, as you know, I'm a big fan of decorated crutches and I particularly like the dots on yours. Thank you so much, Heather. And last but not least is Jason Moore wants to shout out our little friend of the channel, DJ. I guess DJ isn't so little anymore as he's turning 13 in two weeks. Hope you have an amazing birthday, DJ. Thank you so much, guys. That's it for today. See you guys on the other side. Bye. You okay there, Christopher? Yeah. You look very cute. I have a D on my headphones. Did anybody see? That's D for Diane. Yeah, and it also has a lot of makeup on it, but we're gonna ignore that part. Chewy, do you wanna be in this video? Oh my God. Chewy has full on just. Are you all right, pal? You're really splayed there, huh?